Okay. Deborah. Thank you. Happy Saturday to you, Charles. Thank you. Um, so I was, I just finished listening to nonviolent communication and there were two things that came alive for me that I wanted to share. One is that we don't express gratitude enough, specifically enough. And I wanted to express gratitude to you because this name of, of our, well, we transitioned out of it, but you know, turning of the age, that one paradigm alone, that that was such a gift to me and specifically it it brought me not only relief and a, a sense of clarity but it also helped me to rewrite my own story of who i am and what i'm doing here and i would say that before i had that paradigm of there's the old story of separation there's a new emerging story that's also ancient that we're moving towards i struggled replaying these patterns and being like ah <laughs> you know i'm i'm i don't understand i don't get it and now i i write the story the story i've written of myself is someone who was born to be a bridge and not to say that i have all answers i don't have answers necessarily but i'm always listening and focused on the whispers from the future that are coming towards us versus I never really cared about my tribal like ways that much. I, I cared, I was interested, but it wasn't like something, I never really was interested in history. And I used to feel guilty about that, but I realized that I really wasn't here to focus on the old stories, but it was really about leaning into what was coming towards us and connecting this current way to what's coming. and that's always been my focus like that since I was born I was like that and and always had that sense of something's weird or wrong about me but now being able to make those connections and I'm so grateful for that because even in in my work as a as a as a whatever you want to call me mentor guide partner I am always looking for well how does this relate in the time that we're in now and as we're in this uncomfortable space between stories we're all in a different place in that spectrum and so i really i'm really deeply grateful for how that has helped me to find my feet again both as an individual and also in the work that i do in the world and the the second piece that i wanted to share about nonviolent communication is how it's about serving what is alive or what is life enhancing and so with the question of, you know, is someone a good guy or a bad guy that you mentioned earlier today? Um, I've definitely struggled with that with people close to me that um, I've loved and I've been able to see as good people. And yet some of the things that they've done have been absolutely horrific to me. And being able to sit in the, in the paradox of that and I think that's one of our greatest gifts right now. And one of the things that you've taught me so much is being able to sit with the paradoxes and not need it to be either or, but understand that both can exist simultaneously and we can have space for both. Um, now my question is not, is this person good or bad? But is, is the way that I relate with this situation life enhancing or life destroying? And um, if there's anything that bubbles up for you from that, I'm happy to hear. And if not, that's okay. I just really wanted to express that today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Deborah. Yeah, you're, you're, uh, your, your words are such a vehicle for sincerity and um, bringing people home to themselves. I really appreciate that about you. Mm. Yeah, sometimes uh, the, sometimes where compassion and the attempt to really understand somebody and see them with generous eyes leads is to having nothing to do with them. <laughs> Yeah, this isn't about being nice, you know. 
um, and some people are dangerous and and you know driven driven to uh, a very narrow selfishness, you know, and carrying a lot of rage and and uh, yeah, it, it, you know, and you know, you you don't have to be the one who um, delivers them from that condition. So, so yeah, um, that's you know that's because because sometimes when people have suffered abuse uh, and and have have been you know exploited and taken advantage of. Um, they uh, are quite triggered by the idea of non-judgment, but non-judgment doesn't mean that you let somebody railroad over you and, and take advantage of you. It's really non-judgment is fundamentally, it's just being sober and realistic about who we are. And I'll, I'll say, you know, you mentioned the turning of the age um, before that was the sanity project. Uh, all of these things are all of these names are so being sober and realistic. That's sanity, you know. Uh, and as I said before, it, if you are able to get past the judgments and really understand the person who is exploiting or abusing you, you'll actually be more effective at uh, avoiding that abuse um, or overcoming them as an enemy. I mean, there is a time in life where you fight, you know, like you're put in a situation where you have to fight, you know, they're, they've, you know, gone to court to take your kids away from you. You know, you got to go to court and fight. Like there is a time where you got to do that. Uh, but when you, when you see somebody as, fundamentally evil, then you'll have no choice but to fight, even when you don't have to fight. And if you do have to fight, you're not going to actually be as effective as, at fighting them because you're going to have, you're going to be fighting this imaginary person, not the full person. So anyway, and I said that in a different way already. Um, but yeah, some people are, 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 are triggered by the idea of non-judgment, but really it's about it's simply about sanity, sobriety, realism, and that's the through line or one of the through lines to the sanity project turning of the age. And this is, you know, we like, I, I feel like a little wishy-washy, like, you know, we keep changing the name and stuff, but, um, and a new and ancient story. I mean, they're all different names for the same, you know, they're the hundred names of God or however many there are. Is it 99, a hundred? Can't remember how many in Islam. There's a bunch of names of God. I always forget the number, but, you know, that's, that's what we're doing here. And so each of these names point to a different aspect of the same project that we're on together. So, yeah, thank you for being, being with us on this. Yeah, thank you.